Hello, I'm Renaud from More Mountains and uh, welcome to this Corgi Engine tutorial about the contents of the Corgi Engine. So to start things off, uh, we are going to create a new Unity project and import the Corgi Engine in. So uh, start Unity, uh, create a new project called uh, Contents whatever. Um, and uh, we don't care about all that. I say create project. And um, here we go. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the asset store. And then I'm going to search for the Corgi engine. And here it is. And I'm going to say download. So now that's going to take some time. All right, so using some secret magic, I've accelerated time and import uh, can now start. So uh, I think I'm gonna use the same trick as before and spare you some time for the import phase. So uh, you should see this pop-up window, you click import and then you wait until um, it imports the files. All right, well, import is complete and uh, you should now have this, a Corgi engine folder that contains everything you need. Um, it contains four main folders, uh, common demos, MM tools, post-processing and the readme that is not much of interest to you. Um, let's start with common. Common contains uh, an animations folder where all, obviously, all the animation stuff uh, realize uh, lies and uh, so that's mostly as it's uh, the common part it's mostly GUI stuff then there's a font folder um, also containing fonts used by the GUI materials um, obviously are materials used uh, to display stuff um, then there's the prefab folder which contains uh, a lot of uh, different prefabs used in most demos, uh, stuff like GUI, but also the the managers um, like uh, checkpoints, level start, stuff like that. Um, there's also some common music and various sounds um, used throughout the demos. Then there's a resources folder, which contains only prefabs that are uh, instantiated via um, the code. Uh, for example, um, at some point, I think uh, dialog boxes, uh, they spawn these little A button prompts. Uh, so that needs to be into the resources folder. Uh, historically, uh, I used to put everything into resources uh, for convenience, uh, but I decided recently to, in, in version 3.1, I think, to um, split that and uh, only put into resources uh, the things that you actually need to have there and um, and then there's of course the the scripts folder which is kind of the core of the engine where every every everything uh, that makes your characters move um, allow you to pick up stuff etc really resides and then there are some common sprites uh, like uh, achievement icons and uh, GUI stuff Moving on, we have the demos folder. Um, that's where you'll find inspiration and um, um, you know uh, examples to look at. So, for example, if we open the uh, I don't know the the, the pixel one, um, most demos contain the same structure as the common folder. You'll see animations, you'll see prefabs, you'll see sprites. Um, uh, maybe materials, maybe some specific scripts. Uh, for example, I think, um, yeah, for example, the Super Hipster Bros, uh, it has a special controller, special health stuff, so uh, you'll find it here. Um, and most of the time, you'll find one or more scenes. In this case, in the pixel level, we only have one scene, and um, that's what it looks like. Uh, and if you press play, Obviously, you can uh, play play the demo and you know grab some coins, get achievements. Uh, it's like magic. Um, 
moving on after the demos um, yeah one, one last thing about the demos uh, the minimal one are really useful because they are not maybe as fancy as the other ones but they have uh, the great value of this containing only the things you need uh, in a level like the minimal level it's a good starting point if you're creating a new level uh, I encourage you to take that as you know your basis like duplicate the scene and create a new one uh, from that and uh, you know start adding stuff into it um, then there's the mm tools folder which contains a lot of helpers I use throughout my various games uh, throughout my various assets if you own for example the infinite runner engine you'll see that you already have uh, all these helpers um, they cover a lot of stuff like achievements but also events um, various um, math functions stuff like that uh, and finally there's the unity post-processing uh, beta asset uh, it's only used for uh, visual effects on the camera uh, that's that's code created by unity uh, it's not mine uh, it's just there for convenience and to um, avoid uh, you having to download it and stuff um, one last thing uh, you you should uh, clearly leave that as it is and create your uh, a new folder create a new folder that uh, my game or whatever and and put your stuff inside this folder try not to modify the Corgi engine as much as possible or well, you can if you want but um, know that uh, every update will change stuff obviously um, and if you modify the source files you'll lose what you've done so uh, it's a better practice to um, just extend the files into your own classes and um, don't don't modify it maybe modify it when you build but um, otherwise you you lose your change uh, your changes and you'll be disappointed um, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the contents of the Corgi engine I hope you'll like it Bye.